And new developments now. Police investigate after two people are killed in a car crash. And one of the victims was set to graduate from high school in just a few days. Happened in Mattapoisett at Fairhaven Road and Mattapoisett Neck Road around 1030 last night. Tonight we're learning more about the accident and the victims who just recently went to the prom together. NBC 10's Adam Bagney is live from Fairhaven with those details. Adam. Well, Gene and Patrice, the two victims here were so young. Monday night, they were laughing with friends and co-workers at an ice cream shop, and then just minutes later, they were dead. In just six days, 18-year-old Megan Sargent was set to receive her diploma from Fairhaven High School. She was an AP Honors student, a drum major in the band, and even volunteered for underprivileged children. But on Memorial Day night, the unthinkable. Just hours after performing in a parade, the band leader was dead. Killed in this horrific crash on Route 6 in Mattapoisett. Cassandra Gonzalez was there. Just kind of swerved, hit the sidewalk, um, flipped over a few times, and kind of the tree stopped the car. Also killed, Sergeant's boyfriend, 21 year old Brooklyn Rodriguez. The two had gone to prom just weeks earlier and had left his work at an ice cream shop just minutes before the crash. Knowing that Megan in Brooklyn had just gone to prom last week. They were just really starting their lives and getting everything going. As for what caused the crash, that's still under investigation. But the woman who lives in the home where the accident took place said the victims died before she even left the house. Outside school department headquarters this afternoon, officials say Sunday's graduation will go on with heavy hearts. We're going to honestly work with the family to do what is best for them and comfortable for them. Um, as I've already said to the seniors, it is a graduation day. Um, Megan, you know, I would want to just read her name as I normally would and make a decision with the family as to what the best way to receive the diploma would be. And we want to thank the mother of the victim for providing us with some of those photos. She told me that her daughter was on the, her way to UMass Dartmouth. She had multiple scholarships coming in tow as well. We're live tonight in Fairhaven. I'm Adam Bagney, NBC 10 News.